Okay, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little different than uh, the previous videos that I made. Um, as you saw in the title, we are going to talk about headgear. Now, this um, creating this headgear is not what I'm going to talk about because they're the same uh, techniques that I used in the previous um, videos. Like for instance, if you saw my um, where is it, my ghillie goggle video, for instance. Uh, is basically the same technique that I'm going to show you for every um, piece of gear that you're going to see today. Um, if you saw my video about um, creating the ghillie um, pack cover, that will show you some techniques I used for the hat. And the only difference really for headgear is the, the mask. Now whether you uh, are interested in this video for, um, let's say, uh, airsoft or um, wild camping now it doesn't matter it's going to be the same I, I use airsoft materials because they are very nice to work with and they offer some things that normal outdoor stuff uh, doesn't offer like for instance this mask this is a mask made for airsoft and what this actually is is it's a mesh so basically some like a backpack material and then on the front to cover your teeth, your mouth, um, there's this um, iron mesh to protect you. And what this allows you to do is to use zip ties and attach fake plants through the holes like this, see? So these, are th these uh, things here are all zip ties. So, and what this allows you to do is to stick it out like this, make the, the, the shape more distorted than you are capable of just doing by gluing things up. Like this fake fern, for instance, has very big leaves. Uh, you can easily attach them to this mask and make them stick out any way you like because of the mesh. That is really great. You can also attach them to your head, of course, but they will flop around a bit, and you won't be able to uh, point them in a in a direction you you want. Um, so yeah, the base of this head is uh, what was the brand called again? Oh, Jack Pike, of course. So this is a Jack Pike of England a brand uh, camouflage head, and what I like about this is that they have the leaves that are sticked on them, stitched on them, uh, are actually loops. So they are loops all the way. And there's a couple of few interesting things that you can do with the loops. Of course, you can stick things underneath and it will stay attached to the hat. Um, but the other thing you can do is you can pull the loops over the brim and this will actually tuck the brim down on one side. So this is going to be... So if you wear the hat like this, it is symmetrical. But if you pull the loops over on one side, you will see that one side goes down. The one thing is visibility, so you have to play around with it a bit. But the greatest part is that the symmetry goes away. So you wanna when you cover your face, when you cover your head, you wanna get rid of this egg, right? Basically. So that is one of the biggest um, plus points on this head. And then you just cover it up with uh, with the normal materials that I used in previous videos, like burlap, raffia, this uh, what is it called? Hunter's camouflage uh, cloth. It's basically a see-through mesh with a print, uh, with leaves printed on them, and it's very, very uh, great to um, add some volume and some shading and some depth to the rest of your gear. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, you combine the mask, the goggles, and the the hat with. Um, if you buy yourself a leafy suit, you probably get a. Uh, a leafy baklava uh, with it as well 
you put put this on and then you cover it up with, with the rest of it and um, why I would suggest a video no a video uh, the airsoft magic goggles is because they get rid of your eyes without any reflection so we, you all you all probably know the reflection is a big giveaway or something shiny in the forest because it isn't it is artificial when it is there um, so yeah I'm just going to show you how to dress this up and you will see how this egg disappears right so the first thing is like I said the baklava on top of your head and this already does a great job on top of that I will put on the mask first followed by the goggles and of course we top it off with the head right and depending on the day of the season you uh, the time of the year depending on the season you want to darken this up or brighten this up dep dep depending if it's 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 uh, winter or spring you know um, so but the biggest thing with this is to get rid of your face shape if you can see all the way around this doesn't look like an egg anymore So I'm going to keep it at that for this video and I only would suggest like in the rest of my videos um, add some natural, natural, uh, natural vegetation to the mix and um, happy hunting see you in the next video guys.